Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Kai, and welcome to our brand new series here on the Mr. Moth Gaming channel. We're diving into a little bit of Java gameplay just for a little change. And I've chosen Vault Hunters for the edition from Iskal, who you all know from Hermitcraft. So let's get started on this. These episodes are, I don't know how long we'll go, it's quite a long playthrough and stuff. But yeah, let's get started on it. I'll just start to show you this. It's just a test for all those playing. And if we just go into here, we'll call it Kai Plays VH. And the world options. And we will be playing in Sky Vaults. Why not? We're going to go difficult, we might as well go all the way. We're not going to worry about a seed. And I'll bring you back once we're in the world. So yeah, here we are on our Sky Vaults little island thing here. As you can see, we are pretty much... I will disable free cam. Uh, we're pretty much in an open void area with a portal. We've got these crystals, which I'll explain in a moment. And we have a lamp, and that's basically everything that we have here on the island. So yeah, I decided to play this variant because it's a little more challenging and we've obviously got a lot more ability to choose what we do, so to speak, because obviously we're in an open void. So you can see we have two books on us, so we don't need to worry too much about them because they are obviously accessible from here. These crystals will be the ones that get us all of our resources for expanding out all this stuff and the rest of it and obviously our light for mobs at night. So let's jump straight into the quest book, we'll get rid of this. We'll keep this one, oh, I threw the wrong one, doesn't matter. There we go. <laughs> straight into this, um, welcome to Ball Hunters 4 Edition, the mod pack turns your Minecraft experience into a progressively based action RPG game. It is aimed to be played over a longer period of time and has many accessibility settings to customise your playthrough to suit your playstyle. I'm not going to read the whole lot because it takes ages and it basically tells you about the different difficulty settings you can have if you want to play hardcore mode, if you want to invite, you know, do a multiplayer, parties and research. Tick this box, back down at the bottom and you obviously get yourself some cooked steak which is a pretty good early game start. This tells you about skills and talents. Um, I'll show you those more in a second. If you go all the way down to the bottom here, you can tick this box. It gives you one skill point. And it gives you 10 emeralds, which are going to come in really, really handy. And then tells you, budding, budding crystals provide you with basic raw crystals. These are provided, these are the basic of this thing here. So the skill points is basically this option here, which is key bound to H. You get your statistics, you get your abilities, talents, expertise, and research. These obviously will be more into effect later on. Once you get research points, talents again is totally separate, and talents is the same. Expertise, talents, abilities. The quest book does suggest you start off with heal. However, this is Sky Vaults, so I would think our best bet would probably be something closer to Vein Miner. You can see I've got a keybind set for it, and this will allow us to Vein Mine up to eight blocks. This does make it really difficult because obviously you cannot heal in the vault, so we just have to be really, really careful. But it will take Vein Mine and then you get 16 at the next level. So, what we will quickly, really, really first do is if we break out this block and the block underneath it, we need to try and get this crystal basically all of its sides exposed to air so that we can get the, the most out of this. This should be pretty quick, so. We will do that. There we are. There we are. So there we go. So now, obviously, we have access to all the sides of the crystal. We'll break the top one, and it will give us the raw crystal, which is raw vault crystal. I think there's actually one more thing we can do before we do that. That will obviously give us access to 16 vault bronze, and then it tells us that we need to find to enter the vault, enter a raw vault. Which all you have to do is. Open the vault, we're right clicking the crystal to it, you can see it's really, really cool. Can't do anything like that. However, I don't want to keep all of this stuff on me. So what we'll do is we will put it all on the floor here. We are unloading the chunks, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And that's the center in the vault. Welcome to our first raw vault. As you can see, we've got a map in the corner. We'll need to try and remember the direction of the door because raw vaults do not have any kind of 
way of completing them so you don't get chests and stuff. Not that I'm led to believe anyway. It does say here that uh, this bit here, but I'm assuming that's because of that. We will not take this, but the next one we will know is chromatic iron. And I don't want to go over to collect this and fill my inventory up, but we will take a walk through this wall and see what we can find. We need to try and get as much wood as we can. And obviously we have got this vault stake for hunger. So we'll grab ourselves some wood. We've got a vein mine. Life's so much easier. Oh. Because we'll need this to get the start getting resources. So that'll do that. And then we'll make ourselves some sticks. Not like that, because that's not how you make sticks in Minecraft. So we will grab ourselves one more of these on the top. We'll take that. That'll then allow us to do cobblestone. There we go. We have eight cobblestone. We've almost oh, we've tons of tons of durability. There we are. That makes life a little bit easier. And then we'll obviously do this and we'll grab ourselves one of these. Because we are trying to get some iron, we'll need to get iron to get the chromatic and stuff, so that should be the easiest way to do it. And then we'll grab ourselves one of these, and we can just toss this away, we don't really need that. We will need a furnace, so I'll quickly craft one, just for when we come to that stage. Uh, good chance we might need a second pickaxe, we'll take a second one of these. Hopefully we will end up with iron pretty quickly, these... Uh, Raw bolts are set up that way so that to make it easier in the early game. So we'll just grab one more of these. And that should be enough to get us started here. I say we need to do, we need to be careful because obviously we don't have access to heal, which I'm, I'm used to having. However, I have played this map for a couple of weeks before I have decided to record it. This is about the sixth or seventh attempt recording it, which is really, really sad, but. You know, that'll, I want to be sure 100% that I would have a pretty decent gameplay through of it, that I know roughly what I was doing. So, all this wood's going to come in handy for outside the vault. We'll grab a little stone before we leave as well, and that should make life a bit easier. So what have we got? Uh, that would, that's quite handy over there, mobs over there. It's supposed to be an ore room, or just a mine room, so I guess we'll go and have a look and see what... There we are. Oh, there's, there's a chest. I was going to say there's no chest here. What's going on? There's a chest here. Break it this block. And you can see that the chests obviously have some pretty decent stuff in it. Oak saplings for days will take. Uh, XP bottles and these diamond nuggets because they will come in handy. Books. Yep, always need books. And these will give books as well. Make sure there's nothing else here. I don't know what I pushed there. Oh, it'll be this. Loom. No, no more. So what we are looking for is some kind of village room. We need to remember also that this is the direction that we came in. And we'll see if we can find a village or a, a mining village type area. Normally you get them pretty easily. But we will head in a straight line. You see we've got a timer in the bottom left hand corner. That's how long we have got to escape. This is... Nope, we don't want this. These dungeons, uh, these dungeons, these vaults are generated randomly, but luckily the raw ones are all set up pretty much like this, where they have those rooms, and then we have these. This is going to be super easy, as you can see we already have diamonds in the ceiling, we're looking for iron, there's iron up there straight away, and when we killed that mob, we did get soul shards, we'll deal with them shortly once we get to it. So if we can get ourselves up here, we can grab ourselves three pieces of iron, we'll be able to get ourselves the diamonds. Because the pickaxe is the, basically the most essential thing we can grab at the moment. Any more iron in the walls? Diamonds there. That's some coal, we'll take. Take coal, yep, always take coal. More for, uh, for smelting than for torches, because you don't really need torches as much when you're inside the vaults. It does look a bit dark, uh, brighter than you usually would have it. Uh, one thing I did forget to set was Jade, but I can't do that within 
the vault so we'll need to I believe there's no way to do this within no there's no way to do it within here but we'll deal with that shortly getting a wee user interface on the screen obsidian we'll grab that because that will come in really really handy but we do need iron first so we'll just the thing I have found difficult about this is trying to get the get to talk to you all at the same time as recording because I'm, I know roughly what I'm trying to do but it isn't always possible, I can't mind that. Two, we need one more piece of iron. Lava. We need, I, I heard mobs. Oh look, mob. Thank you. Iron up there. As long as we're careful, we're actually pretty much safe here. Yeah, we'll break that because that could come in handy at some point. Once we get to the later game in the the vault, grab all of this iron. Now, obviously, we have got our furnace which we set up already. A bucket would be nice here. We could grab some lava, but you know we're not at that stage, so we'll just grab that. Put it down at our crafting table. And we'll wait for this iron to smelt. While that smelts, we'll have a quick look around, see if there's anything else we can grab while we wait. So obviously we will be upgrading our tools from stone to iron, hopefully, or straight to diamond, depending on how we get on. All these rooms have obviously got this vault cobblestone, which is where you get your vault crystals from. They have got, some of them have got mobs, they don't always. They've also got these really, really cool light um, torches, which are really, really cool. These have even been known to have ancient debris in the walls, so we just need to be really, really vigilant and keep an eye on, look everywhere. So we'll probably grab this. That should be finished going by now, you would think. It's all about time. Monitoring your time. There we are. From that, grab that, put that across there. There we go. We still have one spare. That's totally fine. Take you away. We'll keep you with us. And we'll take our crafting table with us. And then we'll start grabbing all of the diamonds. Pretty easy way to get a bit of progression here. So we'll go back up here. And we know there's diamonds up here all over the place. So we'll grab as much as we can. Nothing down there that we need to worry about. Some of these things have got con things like the condensed blocks and stuff as well. Which is really cool. I did see more diamonds through there. See, there you go. For example, this block here. That's condensed gravel. Granite. More granite. But you do find loads of different variants and emeralds will always come in handy. Because there's a really cool table in this which will help us out a lot. We'll grab the other two once we get to them. And it's just a case of raiding everywhere. Can we get that? Uh, yeah, we can. If we take this out. And then we'll take this down. We'll grab these emeralds. Nothing else I can see. There's gold there, but gold isn't something early ish game we need, so that's not a worry for me. What's this got? That's the same one condensed. I guess we can grab some lapis. It's not as essential, but you know, there's no harm. More diamonds, more emeralds. That's us up free already. It's just a case of grabbing what we basically can to get started. We've got infinite use of these raw vaults, so we don't need to worry too much about if we miss something, it's easy enough to jump back in. As long as we have a crystal. And from up here, lapis, not too much. We could vein mine, obviously. There's more. Condensed blocks, you can see, condensed block of andesite, so basically that's 18 andesite, which is really, really cool. Grab a torch, why not? A lantern. Let's have a quick check that we haven't missed anything. Have we been through this way? Oh, there we go, condensed netherrack. Yep, I'll take it. 18 netherrack, you never know when it'll come in handy. Plate, redstone, more emeralds. Thank you. 
This is the underside of this area here. And that looks like everything down here. I am vein mining as a go in case there's anything close by that will be triggered. The good thing is, obviously, unfortunately we never got the diamond pickaxe, however it would be really, really handy if I could grab that. Do I have three? I do. So let's just... I know there's more diamonds upstairs, so we'll grab ourselves another a diamond pickaxe. And, you know, we'll need to clear some infantry space because at the moment that's ridiculous. And we'll grab some of this obsidian because obsidian is quite difficult to come by in the vaults. Do we have any blocks that we can use to block off this lava? That's not where I placed it, but I guess it'll do. And then we'll place one more. We'll just place a cobblestone. Just like that. And that'll cover us a little bit there. Break that. Obsidian takes ages to mine. You do need these to build your vault altar later on if you go into GAI in a second I'll be able to show you that. Uh, if we go look at the, look at the actual proper altar to get into the proper vault, the vault altar requires two of stone plus chromatic. We still haven't came across chromatic and we've been in here for 11 minutes. More obsidian. Um, yeah we'll probably go for it. Yeah why not. Mm. Let's get let's get pull. Mm. Okay, we'll, we'll take this one piece and then we'll we'll grab the one at the door and then that'll be enough for an enchanting setup as well. Not taking damage because we can't actually use heal, but hopefully if we unalive some mobs, as the game calls it, we should be able to get the skill point pretty easy. Grab the ones in the wall and we'll basically just start vein mining to get some some basic resources, some cobblestone, potentially if there's any more iron kicking about we'll grab that. It's all just about making sure that we have got everything we need before we leave the vault. Don't need any of that, what's up here? More diamonds, yep. Grab some seeds as well, we all need seeds. Anything else up there? Nope. This tree we'll take down. And we'll take that as well. Yep, that'll do. And sometimes you do find ores and stuff in these here. We'll quick check. It's coal this time, we don't need coal. Right, so that's totally fine. We'll just toss some of this garbage down here that we don't need. Uh, chains we don't really need. Core start we don't need, cobble deeps that we don't need, we'll keep these conventional blocks because they'll come in handy, we'll throw that into my offhand. Just to make some infantry space, we'll sort that and then that gives us, so you can see we've got a bit of, a bit of stuff going around. So let's just bear in mind some of this stuff. The more sap ones we get and all that kind of stuff, the easier it's going to be. And we should just be able to go punch. Watching their hunger. Don't get destroyed. There we go, we've got one. One's enough. And we came in from the south, which is over there, and we're heading out to the north, which is there. So let's go through it and see if we can find ourselves a little bit chromatic. And we have another another one of these rooms. This one has a little hut. With a little mind in the side. Awesome. Just the same again, just mine your early game resource. Best you can. I don't want this to play a let's play series where we're just I'm talking you through absolutely everything. I, I do find that the first couple of rooms like this are always the there's no other way to do it. I've not figured out what these are yet. There'll be something to them, I just don't know what it is. Thank you. We will be able to fortune this once we get ourselves a uh, enchanting setup. The good thing is we got a vault enchanting setup, which makes life even easier. You can choose what enchantments you put on it. Let's see if there's any more diamonds. We're at the end of the vault. 
He's he's well. Oh my god, an enigma chest. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane these things. Nether ingot, villager. Uh, let's get rid of these. We'll take the villager. Scotch sensor. Mm. What have we got that we can get rid of? Get rid of dirt. We really need them from space. Yeah, I guess I'll need to do. Is there any more chests here? Anything up the top? These ropes are probably really, really cool, but fortunately we don't have. Yeah, well, I guess there's a bit more space. I just got a bell, look. We need to be on the lookout for these. These are unique to Sky Vaults. It's the only place you'll get them. Which I haven't. Maybe there's normally there's some food up here. Which infantry space have we got? Basically none. Thank you. We'll take all this. And obviously all of this is grass as well, so we should be able to have some a little bit of infantry space for dirt. Just vein mine the dirt. These vaults don't matter, they will disappear the second you, you leave anyway. We're only getting eight at a time here, but just, as long as we keep an eye on our hunger, we should be fine. There we go. So that's 47. We're a little bit better off. At least we have avoided the dreaded mobs. Cobblestone is something we'll grab on the way out. Dirt we're pretty much set for. Different types of wood. We have with the trees because the trees are obviously the most important thing. If we had free iron, which we have with six, we could grab a bucket of water so we can get infinite water. That might be, an, a, pl that might be a nice play. This might be the last room we come into, so we'll just set up this cooking this iron with the offhand coal, like that. It gives a little bit more empty space again, and we will pick up some of this water so that we're we're okay in that respect. These chests are really overpowered. The only I've only place I've seen them is in these type of rooms, so we just need to keep an eye on them. Hopefully I don't miss one, because you can get everything from enchanted tools to really advanced stuff. Look at them. Crafting table. Where are they my crafting table? Did I leave it? It's fine, we'll make another one. There we go, grab myself a bucket. Again, something else we need to have in our inventory, unfortunately. That will give us water, which we can turn into infinite water really, really easy if we had six. We might come across one. We'll go along, we'll go back and we'll go along a couple of rooms and see what we come across. We've got seven minutes left in the timer. Uh, so that should, the rest of this kind of stuff we can, we'll grab some cobble on the way out. We'll just start slowly heading them back. Come across anything on the way, we'll grab it. If we don't come across it, it's not a huge thing, we can always jump back in. Try not to waste all the durability or pickaxe. Don't have we don't have infinite diamonds, we only have another three, so. Hopefully once we get out we might find a way to enchant it, so. We'll just keep heading south, we'll go back towards the door. Ah I always forget about that. Gravity's a thing in this. Cute. We've all got magnets and stuff as well, which is really, really cool. So we'll plan for the series is to do a couple of these kind of vaults um, each episode and then a bit of building, just to stretch it up a little bit. It'd be nice to come across the chromatic room to show you that, they're really, really quite cool. We won't get much experience for this one, we haven't um, unalived any mobs, apart from the one. So, you know, that that, make, that means a lot in Vault Hunters, unalived mobs, you got quite a lot of XP from them, obviously we only killed, uh, unalived the ones from there, I've got, I've got word of that way. 
that should be our, our first room there you can see we've got there bit there so let's just we'll have five minutes we'll just go down and have a quick explore of this room we can't heal so we have to be really really careful hopefully we'll eventually we'll be able to get enough experience to grab the stuff we need to advance at one more level once we get that obviously we'll then put it into heal but for the early game this is more important hello another enigma chest that's insane Elytra! Oh my lord, that is, that is absolutely insane. That is absolutely insane. Elytra on day one. First of all... Oh, this is, this is going to be tough. This is really, really tough. Um, I guess we get rid of the torches. Take some more emeralds. Get rid of the netherrack to the rest of the emeralds. I've never had two of these back to back. So let's hope we can escape now so we don't lose anything. What's the chances of a third one? Hopefully not because we can't carry any more mobs there. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Food, coal, it's all we're taking out of these things. These are early game. That's the reason for that. Oh, we, don't, we can't carry any of that. Oh, come on. Uh, we have three and a half minutes. We need to keep an eye on the vault timer. Another one there and another one here. We'll take this one first. Oh, that was close. What do you have? There's one there. We'll just kind of skip these all the way through. And there is our first cr <laughs> raw chromatic iron, which we obviously need. Let's get rid of the sticks, take the chromatic, and... Mm, we really are struggling for every space here. We'll get rid of the pickaxe and take the chromatic nugget. And grab his last room. I guess we can get rid of these shards, so eventually we'll need to get a pouch for them. Just say we can get two chromatic nuggets or nine of these. It'll be absolutely insane. And these are really, really cool blocks. All these kind of things we can take out of the vault is for decoration and stuff if we want to once we get to that point. We're at two minutes. Let's see if we can get one more what they call POIs. Points of interest, obviously. For the fact we haven't got healing, we're doing extremely well here. I say there is areas up here and stuff, which so we need to be really, really careful if we are doing that. Want to make sure we actually have got some resources to take out of the vault as well, so we have to be quite careful. There's a spawner. Is it only one? Yep, only one. Two crafting tables and two chests. And there's the, there's our chromatic, so that's absolutely insane. That's awesome. Loads of levels, and why we not? Excuse me, thank you. 140, so we need to think about starting to get out of here now. These are bunches of sticks, so they're actually pretty cool as well. Um, we'll come back to them at a later date. Right now, we need to think about escaping the vault. So we'll do that and we'll escape this vault and then we'll see what we basically got from it. And then we'll, we'll do a quick probably time lapse a bit through, expanding out the area and we'll see where we're at. Let's grab a little bit more cobblestone before we do. That's a, that's a slab, don't want that. As much cobblestone as we can get. Until we get lava, then we can get a cobblestone generator. We stand our sky block and we should be fine. And that's all I'm waiting. I'm not wasting any more durability on these pickaxes because hopefully, if I've worked this out correctly, we can get a, a vault enchanter which will help us out. 
just like that, escape the first vault. They say we only on alive nine mobs. Because these are beginners, you don't get any of this coin piles or chest loaded stuff, unfortunately. But you can see, you get the seed of the vault. And the fact we're in there for 24 minutes and 21 seconds. And we got 366. Which is not too bad, we're almost there. So let's really, really quickly grab ourselves a crafting table. And let's get some chests down because if we don't get some chests down soon, we're, all this stuff's going to despawn, which we can't afford to do. Luckily, we have the Java recipe where this gives you four chests. And we'll just shove these over here somewhere. Just like that. And we'll just empty it all out into here. Not, not, not perfect. It wasn't the most perfect vault we've ever run. But that's a really, really good place to start. If we jump back into the quest book now, we'll also get this, which will give us the 32 gold for that. This one's 16 raw chromatic iron. Yeah, we're going to struggle with that. <laughs> Unless until we got a chromatic room. But in the meantime, we already have got two and basically three chromatic iron. So what we'll do is we'll craft ourselves a furnace. Put that down there. And we'll just cook up this chromatic. Just the same as you would any other ore. Got some coal. I want to see if we get a vault enchanter. I know we don't have much levels, but as long as we have emeralds, that's all the vault enchanter works off of. We'll grab ourselves this. There we go. And let's have a quick look and see about the enchanter. Vault Enchanter is two emeralds, two chromatic iron blocks, that's a shame. Yeah, we're, 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 we're pretty much close, we're pretty close. We're fine, we'll manage. It's night time, um, we have no bed, and we're out in the open air, so I guess I could put on some building. Start expanding this island out, and we'll see you once this is over. Okay. Not the prettiest, but we have got a circle. <laughs> We've expanded the island out two blocks, we don't have much resources. It is almost time to run a second ore vault. I don't want this episode to be super, super long. So I guess to see how we got on in future, you'll need to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will join you for episode two. My name is Mr. Moff Gaming. Good night.